So another good timing on the live fish release here. We got about what six weeks until tour. September 14th, 1999 gets the treatment this time. Boise, Idaho. I believe the same Boise Arena where they played a lot of big NCAA tournament games back then. This was September Madness, however, though, from the Pea Fish. We get into it with Chalk Dust Torture. And, you know, there may have been a groan or two with a Chalk Dust Torture opener. But then you get the sloth and the curtain back to back. So if you weren't pumped up about that, you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But that's a pretty good way to start us out. But then it gets a little odd here. We get a run of, like, fish love songs. A couple songs I might not consider fish love songs. But in this context... After the curtain, you get Waste, Loving Cup, you know, if you were on acid, you are like, Jesus, dude, that was fast. Are we already at the encore? Jesus, how long was that curtain? I've had those moments at shows before, but no, Waste, Loving Cup, this was not the encore, but something was going on. What's the use? You know, maybe not a fish love song, but in this context, followed by Velvet Sea and Farmhouse, again with Farmhouse, but if you're getting that, you know, alligator mouth from Velvet Sea, that was a run of love songs right there. I figure somebody in the band must have pissed a woman off. Something bad, they did something bad, got themselves thrown in the doghouse. We you turn around here though with Nellie Kane, Taste, Rocky Top, and in the first set. You know, I don't know if the, the I'm Sorry set worked or not, and maybe an extended set break. If anybody was there, you have to look. What was the deal with set break? How did, how long that run in 99? So we come out with peaches. You know, about a B plus peaches. I'm a tough critic on peaches, all right? A plus peaches, a Zappa Studio version. And Fish comes out hard. Interesting timing right now, though, with all the shit with the Zappa Trust going on. I'm sure Fish has been down that road before, though. So they got it covered. ACDC bag. Most likely the reason this show comes out here on Live Fish little bit of everything in it too a long jam what was it 25 26 minutes something like that i think it was uh i don't know if i'd ever even heard this before i'm sure i'd maybe had heard it back at one point but i don't know when i got heavy into going crazy on the pea fish 99 was just a show that got left off the list a lot of times gumbo i know i probably heard this gumbo at one point at one point i think i just got on fishnet and looked for every highly recommended gumbo this one would have been found and listened to and it was worth it. But the ACDC bag, like I was saying, it kind of goes from, uh, you know, you got your normal jamming fish. Like, all right, they're going to jam this out a little bit. Then you get the total space jam. Then you get a little bit of funk jam. And then it kind of wraps it up. You know, it was kind of running the gamut of the fish jams. Totally left ACDC bag. Gumbo, what was it? Yeah, another one bites the dust. Oh, yeah, that was my theory there. Like, ooh, the I'm sorry set must not have worked. They come out. The gumbo jam's kicking it, and then you get another one bites the dust. Whoever it was, I don't know if it was Trey or Paige, but they were like, hey, all right, you know, that set was fucking all about, you know, if that didn't get it, boom, she's gone, out of here. Another one bites the dust. I get it. I, I feel you guys. Then down with disease. Didn't go crazy. Getting a little bit overlooked here. Everybody seems to be going crazy on the ACDC bag and the gumbo, but if you're just looking for a straight ahead, Getting on the freeway and stomping on the gas down with disease. It just goes and goes and goes. This is it right here. Something like, you know, reminiscent of like Summer 94. Some of my favorite fish where they just fucking rock it out. And that's what that disease did. Probably ran 10, 11 minutes. Not too long. Then Frankenstein ending the set. Then Simple, another one Simple. Look, not a crazy jam, but as an encore. Maybe they had a few extra minutes. I don't know what the deal was there. And then you get a Hello, by ba hello My Baby. So... I don't know. The simple, the down with disease, definitely worth checking out. Don't just go for the bag and the gumbo in the first set. I don't know, man. What do you think, man? What do you think about my the I'm sorry set theory? I'm a truther. I'm a pea fish truther, all right? I want to know. I want answers. And how long was set break? What was the lot scene like? How were the grilled cheese sandwiches that day? Were there chompers in Boise? I've heard good things about Boise State ladies. Mm-hmm. Chompers or not. 